Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're not having a class. I want to share with you um, a supplemental therapy that I have been using and I think it may be of value to some or many of you. So I personally consider yoga to be a very very well-rounded uh, routine especially because I like to include uh, somatics and um, fluid movement and body weight so it's it's very it's very varied it's not stuck in one little area of movement but we explore um, the body and the connection to the body we create embodiment through the practice through mindfulness through awareness I include a lot of uh, vacuums and I just finished shooting and I think it b will be posted on the website in the complete pelvic floor integrity program so it's strength and alignment and integrity and I have to share with you that I personally always need something extra physical therapy style exercises or stretches or something extra to really balance my hips and from balancing the hips usually everything balances the shoulders the spine so I have been using and I've tried many different things, but I have been using with great success to just balance everything and bring alignment because I have scoliosis. I was born or developed scoliosis as a little child. So with yoga, I keep things very, very fluid and I keep realigning everything. But I find that I need a little extra, something a little extra help, like a massage tool or a stretching tool or alignment tool. So I have been using this device called so right so it's very simple it's this is all it is and it's very symmetrical which i find personally for me to be one of the amazing benefits it has and what it is it's meant to work as self massage as elbows and as deep tissue massage for hard to reach muscles such as the psoas or shoulder massage or back or hamstring now I personally love it the most I move it around but I love it the most for my glutes because if you've ever gotten a glute massage or mass body massage you kind of know how painful the glutes can be they get tight and even with stretching and such we still have to dig in deep into the muscle uh, like deep tissue so I'll show you how I use it but I gotta tell you this thing is serious stuff it's not necessarily painless <laughs> unless you work your way up to it. So the way I work my way up to it actually is I use my foam roller and this happens to be, I'll share everything below, this happens to be a vibrating foam roller which originally I thought it sounds a little gimmicky but it actually sends a gentle wave, it kind of, I'll show you. I'll do classes with it in the future if you request some. Regular roller works great but this is a little faster I find it and it has four speeds and it sends a gentle um, wave through the muscles to soften and relax them so I originally before I um, massage and balance my hips with the sorite I used to use a little bit of foam rolling just to soften everything and um, let ease myself into the deeper um, <laughs> glute massage so basically gentle massage before the deep tissue right and it did work now i can use it without even using uh any foam roller or any uh, prelude to the massage i can i can just do it in the morning and i use it for a couple of minutes like say uh, between five and ten minutes even three minutes works on busy days i just lay on it and i move in certain ways so the thing i do is oh by the way uh, my uh, three-year-old daughter decided that she wants to make it pretty and to decorate it so um, it's decorated with with uh, crayons so I lay this is not a paid advertisement I've been using it with great success to I kind of get off balance in the hips if I uh, don't do certain particular stretches and sequences and this has been a fast and helpful tool that really helps. Now you can use it for the psoas muscles to massage in deep in. It's a deep muscle, but here I'll show you how I use it to balance my hips, especially now that we're doing the pelvic program and the pelvis, the hips, these are very related, connected. 
areas. So what I do is I just lift up in bridge, I place it under my glutes and I stay for a few minutes. This digs deep into the muscles and as I said originally it was extremely painful. I thought no way I'm going to sit on one side. Now you can start on just one side and just control how much weight you put down and just massage it out and then the other side and massage it out and move it around so it's different areas of the glutes not just one area and when you found knotted or achy areas you just soften the muscles so that your balance is restored as uh, the spine is a little uh, funky and as the posture shifts the muscles tighten around that area so then I mostly do this I lay on it and I stay just like this for a few moments like say for a minute or so there is no particular way you kind of feel your way through it and then I extend one leg that stretches actually a little bit of the uh, sauce mostly the hip flexors and then I extend the other leg and I really let my body soften and let go so I'm uh, actually putting my weight down without resistance I let really that uh, tool to just kind of get through the muscles and then I open one knee and each each of this is 20 seconds and if something feels particularly needed you can stay for a minute and then I go on the other side and you might have to work your way up to this because the way I'm showing you it took me a while to get to this in the beginning it felt like an absolute impossible like knives in my glutes like no way I would you know lay on it maybe in a, I could in controlled way but not like this suspend my weight then I would extend both legs this is super advanced <laughs> because it's a different way of really placing the glutes down. I really like this one because it evens the symmetrical, uh, the symmetry of the tool. You put it on uh, each side of the spine. It really lets everything just kind of unfold back to snap back in alignment, basically to go back in alignment. It's a really, really ingenious tool for how simple it is. It's very sturdy and very simple but the symmetry of it and just the capacity to do self-massage with it is amazing and it is made in America all right from here I would open both legs and that really digs on the sides kind of digs in gets in kind of softens those muscles I don't stay here too long just a little bit and after that I will just tilt to one side and mostly shift my weight onto the uh, side that I'm leaning towards so this side is almost off the tool and everything falls on this side so it's extra extra massage or extra deep tissue in there then opposite side so this tool is meant for any part of the body I see people use it you can see YouTube videos for or even on their website suggestions for uh, scapulas uh, hamstrings glutes mid back lower back etc and of course so as the name is so right <laughs> and the sauce uh, is often uh, the cause tight sauce is often the cause for um, uh, for back pain so it's really important to be able to get deep in there all right optional I don't do this one often but I this is kind of like a pigeon uh, stretch like a hip stretch and then the other side and after that I move it around so now I'll just move it half an inch low the, uh, lower down down the spine down the glutes 
and I stay here for a little longer, maybe 30 seconds, if it feels particularly good, longer, and then I move it higher than the original position. And I stay here for a little longer. I recently started adding even a little higher on the spine, mid back, and I just kind of use this as a back bend, but also again, the symmetry allows me to massage the muscles and here I can just gently move into the muscles. And I can move a little higher and just gently. Now I'm putting some weight on my uh, feet so it's more like a supported bridge and I control the massage. Uh, pressure and pretty much that's it I can go here for a little longer with extended legs as I said that can that might take you a while to build up to actually as an experiment lifted my legs and that for sure will take you a, a moment to build up to because it puts even more Weight, but I've softened my muscles to such a degree that um, it just doesn't cause me pain. It's just a very pleasant, I actually crave it in the morning. I crave it because I feel like if I feel like, um, a little out of balance, especially when I carry my uh, daughter, she's quite heavy. It kind of, I feel like it, it just throws me off a little bit of uh, alignment. And that just brings me back into alignment. Now alone, I don't know if it will be enough. I think it's a perfect thing with the stretching and exercise routine and yoga that you have. But it's just a beautiful, um, a beautiful um, supplement to our movement. And that's it. To get out, I just move it out. And I get up. It might take you a little bit of time to get up. You might want to just lay for a moment after you remove it so that everything just kind of doesn't get jarred into it. And uh, let me know if you want me to include it in a class or two. It will be fun, but not everybody has it. So usually then to keep the class is pretty simple. Um, and that is it. I hope that gives you an idea. They have one more tool on their website. They haven't tried it, but it's along the entire spine with more pi peaks uh, for the more for the mid back and such but this one is absolutely perfect for the hips now as you can imagine before I let you go you can just um, you can just uh, with the support uh, with support of your elbows you can just kind of move in and massage the psoas the hip flexors you can just find those areas and soften them. Um, of course, you can do the same with inner thighs, hips and so forth, and upper back, and you can just keep moving on one side, massaging uh, different areas of the body, whatever your uh, area of concern is, or wherever you feel that you, you need a little extra help, massage, etc. I personally love it for the symmetry. That is my thing because I feel that I, I can obviously, if you have scoliosis or any misalignment, getting out of symmetry is very <laughs> typical of that. So it brings me back, but because the structure is already uh, curved, I have to do it almost daily in order to uh, continuously reinforce the symmetry. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you want a little more info or any the other ways I use this or that or anything else or any other exercises that you may want for specifically uh, this type of purposes kind of uh, physical therapy type purposes and I'll see you with my next class make sure to check out the last video I posted on it was a whole yoga class on pelvic alignment and I'll see you soon namaste